welcome back to my channel. It's me, Day. How y'all doing today? I hope good and blessed. Let me tell you guys, do y'all see this wig? It's a whole finesse, baby, because when I show you the pictures of what it looks like and what it looks like on my head, honey, night and day, night and day, okay? I hope you guys like this, and let's get into the video. Hey, so I just wanted to come on here really quick to show you guys that I'm using this foamy lotion and also some water to break up the curls that was in the wig. I'm going to show you the original state of what the wig was in, and it wasn't giving darling. It was giving very much grandma and we wasn't here for that so i am just playing with the hair and getting it to the way i would like i'm going to take this off really quick so you guys can see the inside i do not have a lot of room for the lace as you guys can see this is all the lace that we are dealing with in the front so i'm gonna fake a hairline so i made a part as you guys can see but these are tracks so I'm going to give the illusion by adding some more makeup to make it seem like this is going to be a side part. Try this new thing. I hope that it comes out right. This is a tool that I found from Rainbow, the clothing store. I'm going to use this mascara all around the edge of the hair in the front and also to make the part. This is just a random eyeshadow palette that I have and I'm going to go in and use this black. I'm just going in with a regular brush just to blend everything in. I saved the best part for last. As you guys can see, these are tracks, you guys. I just made a part, used a hot comb, and now I'm gonna use this, just like how I did the front, to bring the illusion that it's apart when it's not. Do you see what I'm saying? This is not a part, but I'm making it look like a part. Okay. See that? That looks like a good, decent little part. I'm gonna add some concealer. I want this to be precise because it's on tracks. I am actually going to use a brush. So I'm just going to put the concealer on my hand. This is actually going over hair and tracks. That's all I'm doing is almost stamping a part. So I'm just trying to make it darker around the brown. And there you have it. That is a part. Try your best not to touch the part. It needs to dry so it can stay like that. Put a little bit of this lace right now. My 
outfit i have my clothes and everything i just think that this is a lovely top i don't know if you guys can see it but the necklace with the pink hair it just screams summertime good vibes um on the beach you know enjoying life or whatever yeah so let me put the wig on but i hope everything is covered so mad you guys that the daylight is actually gone but girl this looks this looks really good it feels like knitted and tucked and like perfect so you guys e, I'm gonna bring it forward there we go just want to get as close as possible have to cut all the lace off for it to be a little bit of natural look good or whatever cut all of it like really close okay like this is even too much baby cut all that off you see that that looks much gelable you think what i'm saying fuck ladies edges down right here I'm gonna leave out and the band is what's gonna actually make it gel to the max and that's what we're looking for As if I have not showed you guys how this wig looked when it first came out of the box, honey. I'm going to show a picture. I'm going to have to show y'all something because it was, it was, it was a whole nother, I don't know what's going on with my life. I don't know. That's how it came out, the package. So if you get this wig, you're going to have to finesse. Yes, you're going to have to finesse this wig. It's cheap. Um, it's a pop of color. If you want to go to a concert, if you want to go, you know, just to have fun with a short hair do, a pixie do, and just, you know, it's a fun look. You know, it's not an everyday look. I don't think that it is. Um, but if you do want to use it as an everyday look, girl, go ahead. Or boy, go ahead. Um, I just hope some of the tips that I showed you guys can help you guys finesse and make it what y'all wanted to make so i love the color I'm nervous because i'm always used to seeing myself with like longer hair but just because i'm so used to wearing long hair doesn't mean that i can't do short hair so that's why i wanted to do it and it's just like really like a dolly and i absolutely love that so yeah girl that part even though it's not a part baby it's looking like a part I'm just saying.
and gone. Okay, you guys, this is the finished result. Yes. Girl, let me see. This looks KU, you guys. Did I do a good job? I think I did a good job. I mean, this need a little help. I ain't gonna lie. But I think I did a good job. Compared to what it was, baby. All in you so you can see the hair. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Girl, you on camera. Look, you live. This is Janae Love. You got <laughs> No, she they can't see you, they can hear you. <laughs> This is my friend. This is my good friend, Janae Love. Go subscribe to her channel. Okay. Yes, this is YouTube. <laughs> okay, so you are a witness, girl. How did this hair look when I first got it? It was, it was hanging on a prayer. It was hanging on a prayer. So we got it together. We got it together. Hang on a prayer. Baby, Scalpiana, honey, look. It's nice, I like it. Honey, you can't tell me what God will do. No. <laughs> Go subscribe to her channel. Okay. Watch the video. Honey, you can't tell me that I'm not gifted with these wigs, baby. Period. Period wig that does not have a part you can make a part just use your flat iron or your hot comb make the part where you want it part it down use the hot comb to make it flat that's what i did this is mascara for your hair it is clear but i use this as like a glue to put the actual eyeshadow on the black eyeshadow you can get black you can get dark brown whatever color you have at home honey just use what you got just use what you got baby it just glides on and it just it's bomb it's bomb you don't have to dye it this is another trick that i hope you guys well, you, I am a brown skin girl. I love for my hair to blend with my skin complexion. I know I could have put this wig on and it would have looked cute either way if I didn't do the um, roots. But honey, I'm, I'm into the finesse. I'm into the finesse, baby. I'm into the finesse. I don't know what this is. Honey, you cannot tell me what's good for this wig you cut all of the lace all the way to it don't leave a little bit out because then it's gonna give off that like white carpet sharp line and we ain't got time for that like you're cutting the hairline itself that's how you get the gel as good as this right here okay if I would have left my headband on my head a little bit longer and would have been um not so impatient honey this part right here would have been seamless okay um i didn't want to put too much i could have cut some more of this hair and covered up my hair but you know it's good enough for me i'm not tripping love it to do with the shine this is fine for me but for some people who don't like that shine you can just use some powder or you can go in with like a makeup remover and just clean that up but i already did my makeup and I didn't want any spots. So I just left it like this. I love it. I hope you guys like it. The curls, when I tell you, when you first get the curls, honey, I'm letting you know, it's like Cheerios. I'm gonna show a picture. I'm gonna keep showing it. This is this wig, honey. And you can make it look like this. Get a whole finesse, a whole finesse. Honey, you can't, who can't tell me? that this doesn't look good 
You could be anywhere in the world watching anybody, but you are here watching me and I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Peace, love, and happiness to you, darling. Yeah.